Hey everybody, this is John. It's my 91 uh, Toyota Warrior. So, uh, it occurred to me that, you know, I'm taking for granted my uh, my electrical and charging system and that there might be people out there interested in uh, what's going on here. So, uh, since it's spring and uh, people are going to be heading out on the road, I thought I'd uh, give you a quick tour. So, this is pretty much standard. You get the battery. Over there, you've got the uh, solenoid. When the solenoid is on, obviously it's sending charge back to the uh, the coach batteries. Over here, we've got the uh, standard coach battery. All right, you got that now. I guess from the factory, that's basically the way it uh, ended. Now, when we bought this thing, it didn't have an inboard uh, generator, thankfully. Uh, and I'm happy about that because I didn't want the thing sucking gas out of my gas tank, which is my understanding as to what they do. So, before we discuss what's in the generator compartment, let's look underneath here. You see that blue line? That blue line is, I think it's number eight wire. That comes from that compartment over there next to the door. Comes over to here. So the blue line brings a uh, positive and negative into the uh, compartment where the generator should go. It's my understanding the generator should be right here. But what I have are three marine slash RV deep... Uh, what do they call them? Deep charge uh, RV batteries. And these are the bigger ones. These are the, uh, it's a weird number. It's like 864 uh, uh, cold cranking hours. So I've got three of them. And they are wired up. you got a wire that goes from here to here to here and then up to there. Now the reason I have this piece of wood on top is because the uh, the terminals are right there and uh, I didn't want anything touching them and shorting them out because at this point I've got enough amperage probably to do some welding and so I didn't want to uh, get involved in any uh, anything melting so the uh, the ground then comes up on the far side and goes here to the uh, the case uh, and that's I assume grounded uh, throughout the rest of the vehicle. The other thing is on the other side I've got a ground that goes from that battery to the frame and then here we've got the hotline and the hotline goes up to a uh, there's a fuse underneath here so we got an inline fuse and then from there it goes into the uh, converter and then it goes uh, I'll deal with that in a minute it goes and gets inverted. Now the question will be what kind of use do we get out of these three batteries? First off, we've had them for uh, well since 414 so uh, just about five years and I'm making this video because this battery actually went bad the other day so I had to replace it. These batteries are about 90 bucks each but I know as I said people are going to be asking what kind of use do we get out of the other uh, batteries running like this and uh, I can tell you, running everything inside except for the air conditioner, which is a freaking pig, uh, like a 21 amp uh, pig, but running everything else, the TV, the microwave, the coffee maker, you know, just living like normal people, running the fan actually on the uh, air conditioner, but not the air conditioner itself. So we can run the fan, circulate air, things like that. We can run for a week, seven days. Uh, boondocking off-grid with these three and a half batteries. These batteries over here are a lot more powerful than that one over there, but uh, the four of them uh, will keep us merry and happy for a week off-grid. And then when we plug back in, it takes about six hours for the whole system to charge back up. And uh, let's see what else. And uh, that's about it. The, the 
combined weight of these three over here is about 180 pounds, which is probably comparable, a little heavier probably than a, than a generator, but uh, that's okay. Like I said, I'd rather have this set up than have to worry about the thing sucking uh, the gas out of the gas tank and then us being somewhere off-road and uh, basically getting screwed. So if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know. Otherwise, we'll talk to you later. John out.